Hi, my name is Kai and today I try to answer some questions from our ePlan community Discord group. If you want to become a member of the ePlan community on Discord, please follow the link in the video description. On Discord, some users ask how they can generate a report, a summarized part list, including the device tag for each device and what they need to do if some parts are missing, for example, terminals or cables. This is something I try to explain in the next few minutes. So keep watching. So normally your summarized part list exists out of the quantity for each order number. So that means in your drawing, you have placed 15 times this order number, this end clamp. And now we want to change this so that we get a list of each of these 15 device tags. And therefore we need to make our own form or we can change this existing form to our requirements. So this form is the F02006 and now we change this so that we can get the device tags. So therefore we go to master data, form and copy. And now you need to se select here the summarize part list and select your form which you want to change. In our case, it's the F02006. We click on open and save it under a new name. Click on save and now this forms get open in our page navigator. And here we can change now our form. Quantity is just a word, so a text, so we can change it to device tag, for example. If you work with several translations and for other countries, you need to check that you translate this word here directly. And now we need to change the property. So this property is a calculated, a formatted calculated property. We change it to property and select here over the more button, the device tag. So we go here to device and search for the device tag. And now you need to select the this kind of this style of device tag which you want. I select here the identifying, click OK. And in the next step, we also make the format directly. So the alignment I change to basis center. And I activate directly the alignment box. And now you can see that the width and height is already filled in with some values. And now we che check how wide really is our field here. So we click OK, go to insert linear dimension and measure this. Now this is 28 millimeters. Don't forget to delete this measurement, otherwise you will have it in your form later on. Then we double click again here and for example, enter here 26 millimeter. The high, I can keep it as it is. And now it's also important that you click on text with fixed. And now everything is finished and we can click OK. So now we shift it a little bit on the right position. So maybe we need to change our grid here. And now our format is ready. Then we can mark it in our page navigator, right click and close. And now we generate a new summarized part list. Therefore we go to tools and generate. Here we go to summarized part list in the tab templates. Click on new 
and also here select the summarized part list, click OK, and here we select another form. Here we select this form which we have now motivated for our requirements. We click OK and we select the document type EPA OK and click OK. Now we have here a new template for our summarized part list and can click on Generate Report. Then we close it and have a look here on a EPA 1, our document for summarized part list. And see now that our summarized part list now has all the device tags. But as you maybe have seen is that some device tags are still comes with more than one device tag. So we have still some device tags which are summarized together in one line. If you don't want to have this, we can also change. Therefore, we need to modify again our form. So we go again to master data form and open, select our form. And now we need to make a right click on the page navigator on our form, go to properties. And here we have the form and here we have the property dynamic line adjustment. This is something you need to activate. And then ePlan separates your device tag really line by line. We click OK and close this. So we need to update our master data and our project data. And now we just can mark our summarized part list in our page navigator, go to Tools and Update. And now you will see that the summarized part list becomes much more longer because you have now really each device tag in one line. But this is maybe exactly what you want. And now comes the other questions. What happened if, for example, we don't find any terminals or we don't find any cables in our summarized part list? Then you maybe need to check also some settings in your project settings. So you go to File and Settings. And here we go to our Project, Reports and on Part. And here you need to select which parts you want to have in your report. So maybe you need to check if your cable parts are activated or not. The same is, for example, for your terminal parts. If you have something missing in your summarized part list or in your part list, you need to check these values. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.